So the other evidence I would offer are romance novels. I have to say I've never actually read one, but... <laughs> How important is romance to a relationship? Is it overrated or underrated, underutilized? What do you think? I think romance is incredibly important and unfortunately it's underdeveloped. Mm. But I have an interesting take on this. So I'm curious what you guys think. I've come to the conclusion that female attraction strategy to men is based on challenge and opportunity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So of course there's chemistry and all that sort of great stuff, but the challenge is actually whether or not she can get the guy to do what she wants him to. Because we all have to admit we do that. And that's the challenge, whether or not he's man enough to kind of stand up to that female manipulation. Now my belief is we girls are incredibly good at manipulation. <laughs> Guys not so much. I think the more challenge a guy is, the more attracted the girl is. For example, the bad boy. Okay. Every girl loves the bad boy. We're just like moth to a flame. Why is that? Because we can't control him. He'll just, he'll look at you and he'll look at you and go on to the next one. He doesn't care. We can't control that. And mm -hmm. he's not subject to the manipulation. So the other evidence I would offer are romance novels. I have to say I've never actually read one, but. <laughs> but I have friends that read them. Yeah, I know. Exactly. <laughs> but I've read, so, I read them. The I've example, read them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, take a poll. Yeah. So the other example is romance novels. There is never a plot. I mean, there's probably millions of romance novels written, but there's never ever a plot that says, oh, and he was kind and he was thoughtful and he cried in the movie with me and he would do everything I said and then my clothes <laughs> fell off. That's not how it works, right? Right. It's always some version of the guy taking control, and some version of the girl surrendering. That's Fifty Shades of Grey right there. Well, not, not entirely. It's, I'm saying it in a little bit bigger context. This notion of surrendering, I think, is a big one. Mm -hmm. It's a big one. It's a, it's a very valuable skill. Unfortunately, most women here surrender, and they think, oh, I'm going to be a doormat. That's not what I'm talking about at all. The ability to surrender, for an example, into masculine authority and leadership in terms of a, the marriage structure, which is the one that actually works the best, I think, historically over time, um, is kind of what I'm getting at there. And the, the romance of it is when the roles are working, that structure is in place, then it can be very romantic. Well, you know, I think a woman can surrender to a guy and is happy to surrender if they feel like he has things handled, like he has some sense of, senses of control. And she has a sense of emo emotional security with him, right? You have to be secure to be able to surrender. Um, so. That's just what struck me hearing that. I mean, I think there it needs to be some sense of emotional security there the to be able to surrender. But I also think I had an interesting take in terms of this. I think um, I think ma a, a mature man who really cares for a woman wants to make her happy. And yes. I think sometimes what women do is kind of think that the guy's going to be my daughter. If he knows me, if he loves me, he will know exactly what to do. And I find that women need to connect the dots, right? I think men and women think differently. Their brains are wired differently. So I think it's extremely important for a woman who knows the guy cares to know that they, you know, he wants her to be happy. The best way for a woman to do that is express what makes her not be demanding, but let him know, make it easy, set him up for success. I think that's super important, um, and I think when you know when she does that, I think that emotional security, that feeling, sense of security is there, and I think her she is more she's happy to surrender, right? I work with very I work with women who are very highly accomplished, and they are you know in, at work they're like the leaders, they're the bosses, and they want to surrender when they come home. So it's not that they want you know, but I think it's helpful to feel you know he's got her to do that, and that feeling safe with him is an important piece of that. Sounds like it's a requirement. So it, I think yeah. it is a requirement to surrender. I absolutely do. I have another take which is interesting and I think we need to redefine romance completely in the sense of, I think romance is super important, but what I mean by romance is not dictated by Hollywood, dictated by Madison Avenue, dictated by, you know, Disney, what have you, um, dictated by Hallmark. I think it really goes back to you know, an individual dynamic between you and your partner. So I think having that conversation with your partner, 
what really turns you on? What makes you tick? What's important? Could go back to the five love languages of Gary Chapman, or just a real conversation about, you know, what's important to me. I know for me, what, you know, what really turns me on may not be the same as what turns my partner on. And for me to assume that, you know, that's not where romance is. It's actually being aware and thoughtful little gestures on a regular basis that show that awareness. To me, that's what romance is. You're, you're hitting on something here with romance. Is it, mm -hmm. it is a connection between the two mm -hmm. people, right? And mm -hmm. it does require talking, but it also requires action. Absolutely. Right? You have to act it out. Because if all you're doing is, I want this, I want this, this is romantic to me, you're not gonna get anywhere, right? So sometimes you have to demonstrate and be free enough and confident enough and safe enough, right? To do that. So it, it comes back for me mm -hmm. that romance is critical for a relationship and it's built on the trust, on the connection, and the willingness to explore each other in all different ways. Mm -hmm. My definition of romance is proof positive you care for me. Mm -hmm. and, and that means you have to be paying attention because I think from the time we're born, we need people, three to five people in our life to show up at the right time tune in, you know, and mm -hmm. tune in long enough to really understand us mm -hmm. and then show in their actions that they understand. Mm -hmm. And to me, that is romantic, which means we always need it in relationships because without that, you know, what's the point? Yeah. This is proof positive you care for me. 80% yeah. of couples who divorce or separate say we grew apart. Yeah. Number one cause of growing apart is withdrawing your interest Mm -hmm. and your energy and so if you're not curious if you're not paying attention to what it is as I change and grow through life that touches my heart and I'm not paying attention then not only has romance gone but probably the relationship has to. Mm -hmm. I feel like what I've heard today is that to sustain a relationship there has to be this element of I care for you beyond my need to take care of you and that involves romance and so if you're watching and you're a lady, help your guy to be romantic. And if you're a guy and you're watching, be romantic.